Hey, this video is in response to Dylan's original post. Um, Dylan, good job on avoiding that laptop for the full 12 hours. Um, I personally wasn't able to do the full 12 hours without my cell phone. So good job for you for doing the, the whole experiment. Um, speaking on your post, I specifically really like the point of being cautious on your dependence to technology. Um, I know as a student, it's pretty tough to avoid the laptop in general um, because, I mean, I, I know I personally use my laptop um, in all my classes to take notes and multitask and whatever, um, and even outside of the class. Like, for instance, this class definitely need access to a laptop. Um, but it sounds like you were able to find other functions on your phone to not fully um, fully be out of the loop for your other classes, so that, that's good. But um, speaking more on the dependence, um, I think it's definitely something that I learned as well um, through this experiment, is that we are for sure dependent on our technology um, and a little too dependent. I know that there's probably no way to undo our dependence um, but I think we can be cautious, like you said, and uh, I guess mitigate the level of dependency. Um, but at the same time, pieces of technology like a laptop and a cell phone offer a lot of value. Um, while they can be heavily distracting from real life, they also add a lot to real life, whether that's being a student working from home on your laptop, you name it. Um, but yeah, I guess kind of finding that middle ground um, for using this technology for the necessary functions, the required stuff that you got to do, uh, and then um, avoiding compulsive use. Because I know that I compulsively use my cell phone. Like I'll just bust out my phone in class, um, like look at memes on Instagram or text messages, whatever. Um, so I guess avoiding that behavior um, and then still relying on it when you need it. But yeah, overall, good job. I really liked your post. Um, I definitely appreciated the, the level of cautiousness that you, that you feel like you want to add to your life. Um, I think that that's definitely something that we can all take away from it. Um, finding that middle ground, like I mentioned, um, because... I don't think there's any way to get rid of this technology. We, we need it. It's really, really useful. But at the same time, there is a, a veer in the path. Or, I guess, or I guess there's just two paths. You can use it to be productive and then get really distracted and be very counterproductive. So, yeah, overall, good job.